went to school yeah. for science. And then I saw you won an award from NASA. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, was it was a, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I do my research, bro. Yeah, yeah. That, that's good research. <laughs> that's a hidden one. It was a, go ahead and tell us about yeah. it. I so read it was about a it. A few years ago, uh, NASA was looking for new ideas and technologies to enable a self sustaining colony on Mars. Mm -hmm. And so instead of keeping things in the house where they all kind of know each other, they want to broaden it and ask the public, ask the world, all the scientists in the world, can you come up with new ideas to enable that? Mm -hmm. And the specific challenge was you have six colonists on Mars. What technology do you have that would enable it to be self-sustaining and they don't rely on Earth at all? Right. And so my idea was to use, I have science background, plant background, is to use a chlorella algae. It's a small single cell algae. It mm -hmm. grows everywhere. It's one right. of the fastest growing organisms in the world. Yeah. It grows in seawater and freshwater. And uh, in there's certain conditions, it'll make a starch inside its cell, which mm -hmm. is very similar to flower starch. So like a bag of flour mm -hmm. is... 100% starch, more or less. Corn flour is also almost 100% starch. Mm -hmm. So it'd be basically the same thing. If you can grow it and it grows super fast and then purify it, you're left with a white powder, white flour, and then you can right. use it for pasta, bread, mm -hmm. uh, tortillas, all these things. Right. 